hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix ios 17 battery draining issue an unusual battery drain issue is one of the worst thing to occur with your iphone after installing ios 17 this issue can persist even with the latest software update it's been hardly a few days since ios 17 has been released officially yet there are reports of many battery drain issue from the general public so let me show you how you can fix it so before we start the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos so the first step is check for official software update you can go to general and go to the software update ensure that your device is running the latest ios 17 the official version not the beta version apple often releases updates that include bug fixes and improvement which can help address battery running issue so make sure that you are using the official ios 17 version then move on to the next step the next step is check battery usage simply go to your settings then click on battery and then you can scroll down to see which app are using the most battery if you notice any app using a huge amount of power consider closing them or limiting their background activity and then move on to the next step the next step is background app refresh disable background app refresh for the app that you don't need to receive constant update from this can help reduce battery consumption you can simply go to settings and then you can click on general click on background app refresh and then you can turn off the background app refresh for the apps also you can completely disable it if you click on off so once you have done this then the next step is screen brightness lower the screen brightness or enable auto brightness to adjust it automatically based on the ambient light condition to turn on the automatic brightness you can go to setting click on general sorry click on accessibility here then you can click on display and text size scroll down all the way and you will see this auto brightness option from here you can turn this on or you can turn it off or you can adjust the screen brightness manually so once you have done this then the next step is location services simply go to settings then click on privacy and security then click on location services and review which app have access to your location you can either turn off the location access for unnecessary app or set them to use location only while using the app so in my case like yes whatsapp is on always you can simply choose while using the app if you don't need the location you can completely turn it off but also you can do this you can choose while using then move on to the next step the next step is push email if you have a multiple email account set up consider changing the fetch settings to manually or at longer interval rather than using a push all account you can go to settings then you can click on this mail click on account then click on fetch new data from here you can change the settings then move on to the next step the next step is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when you are not using them, especially when you are in an area with a weak signal. So when you are not using your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can consider turning them off. Then move on to the next step. The next step is reset setting. If you have tried everything and still experiencing battery drain, you can try resetting all setting on your iPhone. This won't erase your data, but will reset all setting to their default value. You can go to settings click on general scroll down click on transfer reset click on reset reset all setting this will also raise your wi-fi password so make sure that you know the password before doing this step then move on to the next step the next step is battery health check your battery health you can simply go to your settings click on battery then click on battery health and charging then if you see this important battery message it might be a time to consider getting the battery replaced then the last step is limit widgets reduce the number of widgets on your home screen as they can consume resources and update data in the background so if you're using a lot of widgets on the home screen make sure that you remove the widgets from the home screen so hope this video helps you thanks for watching subscribe